What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Heather. I love going to Mexico especially to the all-inclusive resorts. You can get so much bang for your buck here so I love to take you guys along these trips with me so you can get a real feel of these resorts and see if it's worth your hard-earned money. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not so good. So I'm here to help you figure out where to go on your next vacation. And I love doing these vlogs for you guys. So consider subscribing and let's jump into the latest resort I just traveled to. This resort is located right in the heart of Playa del Carmen in the small community of Playa Car, located right across from Cosmel. The Rio Palace Riviera Maya is about a 460 room resort with four swimming pools all located right on the beach now the Rio palace riviera maya is one of six resorts and the good thing about staying at the riviera maya is you have access to all of those resorts as it is the top tier of all of the resorts it also includes 24-hour room service unlike the other properties shown on this map and is a very short walk to playa del carmen so starting off our journey i always tell you guys what shuttle service i use we love canada transfers it's a private round trip shuttle service that cost us about 130 dollars total to get to the Rio palace it's located in the gated community of playa car which i thought was so neat you could see houses that were really close to the resort definitely totally different than anywhere we've been but still beautiful and really neat to go out and take a walk at night. We had no traffic issues and got to the resort in about 25, 30 minutes. When you walk through the doors, you'll definitely understand why it's called the palace. It was decorated very beautifully, very luxurious and fancy looking. It's definitely not your tropical feeling vibes that some of the other resorts we have stayed at, but nonetheless, it was still super gorgeous. I loved all the decor. I'm a sucker for chandeliers. Check-in did not take long at all. We got welcome drinks and then we headed down to the buffet because we did not get breakfast. So even though the room was not ready, you're still allowed to go and enjoy the property like we did going to breakfast and hitting the pools right after. I will say the breakfast buffet had a lot of options. I was kind of in the mood for lunch and maybe a little breakfast. So I found both. It was very nice and open, lots of room, lots of options again. I would say this property, as I will get more into the food selection later, is ranked more of your three and a half, four star for food. It definitely was not hard finding something to eat though. I loved the property. Look how beautiful these grounds are as you make your way to the pools and beach. After breakfast, we just kind of ventured around, felt the property out. So now let's get into the actual resort review. I'm gonna break everything down from beach, pools, food, entertainment, rooms, etc. So stay tuned and I'll also share the price at the end of the video. I will say I was very impressed with the beach. The pools were located right next to it, which I absolutely love. I love getting in a pool and being able to see the ocean. The sand was super soft. There was tons of seating for everyone. So you're not fighting for chairs, lots of shade and the water was pretty good at our stay. They do have a little barrier out there that helps with the sargasm problem. It was hit or miss some days. Some days it was beautiful and clear and more calm and other days it was a little rough with a little bit of seaweed. I always get questions about the seaweed, the sargasm, and honestly, Mother Nature is just very unpredictable. There are certain seasons where it's better and I will have a video coming shortly on that, so stay tuned. But I wanna mention that they do have servers on the beach that bring you drinks. They do have some people that come and try to sell you some things. If you just politely tell them no, they don't bother you. So it really didn't bother us if they were there. They do have some fun parties on the beach. Typically I'm more of a pool girl, but I did find myself venturing out here a lot because it was very nice. I will say this is the first resort out of all we've been to that you can check out boogie boards and I thought that was awesome. My son loves to do this and my husband as well. So along with all the catamarans and paddle boards, they do have boogie boards too that you can check out for free. So if it starts to get real sketchy and different, it's because I'm going back and forth from my phone to the GoPro. But it does give it a nice wide zoom. Everybody always asks what I film on and typically I just use my iPhone 12. The video quality is perfect for vlogging, I feel like, but it drains the crap out of my battery. So we're on day two in our third room. I'll tell you one thing that I actually love about this property. No masks, no COVID crap, 
Um, the employees, I haven't seen hardly one employee wear a mask here, which I think is fabulous. I think, you know, back to normal, finally. It's very pretty here. The grounds are beautiful. They do a good job keeping it up. I love that the pools are connected right in front of the um, ocean so you get that breeze. When you're looking at this property, there's a pool there, there, and there, three pools. The one right over, over yonder, I want to say, that's my Texan, is the adults only pool with, has the swim-up bar, only one swim-up bar, which kind of sucks, but at least they're right by the ocean, you get that breeze. So we switched to room number three. The first one was an ocean view, which is what we paid for. So naturally we wanted to get what we paid for. So we got to our second room, which was actually right up at the very top, right there. And it was such a nice view, but the AC was not working like at all. Hot air was coming out of the room. So you know me and my air and I'm like, no, that's a must. Even when the view was super gorgeous. So we switched to now this room. Apparently is the newer portion of this resort. It's in its own separate building. It's not attached to the main horseshoe buildings. So I love how short of a walk our room was to the pools. And honestly, I think anywhere you stay at the resort, it's not gonna be that far of a walk. So that's kind of a bonus. So now let's get into the pools where we usually spend most of our time. They do have four pools like I said before they're all that rectangular style they do have lots of seating and lots of covered shade this is the adults only section it is not the biggest and it's the only pool bar at this property which is a little unfortunate however look at this view I love the infinity edge how you get so close to the ocean let's go see what Ty is getting us to drink Did you order me? So something to think about, we traveled mid-September here and it really was not busy. So I could only imagine when you're traveling during the hot months like summertime or holidays, it's gonna get pretty busy here. So the drinks might be a little backed up at the pool bar, but at least you have another bar on the other side. You just have to get out and get it. They do have some aerobic classes going on. Sometimes they have some games in the afternoon, but one thing I thought was amazing, the pools close at eight o'clock at night. As you see right here, it's getting dark. Most pools close down and the bars close down at 6 p.m. everywhere we go. So I thought that was amazing. What do we have? Mojito, Caprina, and what's that one? What's this one? I will say with just this property being more of an affordable budget friendly option, I was not expecting the drinks to be that great. However, I was very impressed. Every night they had a cocktail, a different cocktail that they would make out in the courtyard and it was fabulous. My Miami Vices, that's my go-to drink. I know if they're not gonna be good, I'm not gonna love the resort, but they were fabulous here. So I was very impressed with the drinks, especially I need to give a shout out to the sweet bartender up in the main lobby name Claudia she made the best drinks this was her specialty shot and then I loved it so much she even made it a normal drink for me and it was like minty chocolate I don't know she just called it her specialty so definitely ask her for that if you come to this property unfortunately the beer selections were very limited here I think they just had Dos Equis, so my husband was a little bummed about that however everything else was pretty good I yes. thought holy crap Okay, one, two, three, let's go. Yeah. I'm getting ready for the neon party that they're going to be having over at the Rio Tequila. A few things that I want to make sure I remind people watching this video is I do a lot of different all-inclusives. I wanted to go to a more budget-friendly all-inclusive option for people because obviously after the pandemic and inflation and all kinds of crazy stuff going on in our world, um, some people just don't have the money to travel. However, there are some decent options for people that doesn't cost you know an arm and a leg when they travel. Like the last resort we went to was the Valentine and it was expensive. Um, it was definitely more of your five star luxury adults only. I want to try to do like different type of resort videos on my channel that's high end and more of your budget friendly affordable. This Ryu complex has several different properties that are underneath the Ryu name. Anyway, so there's several, but they're a little bit more 
cheaper than what we paid for this one. This is just like the top tier. It's kind of like Barslow where they had um, multiple properties in one complex, one area. This one's drinks have been pretty good. Um, my husband's been a little disappointed with the beer and the rum selection. There's not a whole lot here, but again, it is a budget friendly, so you're not gonna get as many options as you are with higher end ones like the resort we just came from. So trying to keep that in my mind, I cannot compare this one to our last resort. So if you are looking for a budget friendly resort, I would highly recommend this one, but there are some negatives. So I do like to share that um, in my videos. It, nothing is, you know, just perfect. And I do like to share the negatives and the positives so people have a real feel of when you get here what to expect now everybody's experience is different some people may come here and be like oh this was perfect we never had one issue but that's not the case for everybody so we've definitely had some negatives i think i've shared some already um, i think the most being the air conditioner in this room is not good um, we've switched rooms three times three times they just came and worked on it last night because it got hotter when we weren't even here and we did everything right we closed the blinds we kept the key card in anyway air conditioning is not very good at this property i don't think um, if you're not um, hot natured people like we are then you know that's not going to be a negative for you and what else do i want to say obviously um the pools they're really small like really really small now they do have like four different pools but they're all like your square rectangular smaller shaped pool i like bigger pools where you can kind of spread out from people um there's only one swim up bar so when that thing gets busy i mean you're gonna have to get out of the pool to get a drink and if you are traveling with kids you cannot access the swim up pool bar because it's on the adults only section so kids aren't allowed in there so if you're traveling with kids you do not get a swim up bar which is kind of a negative too. this is not a place for a foodie to come if you're a big foodie you need to go more five star high-end luxury property which we did not expect that we figured the food would be average here and I will say some of the places have been actually really really good the nightlife here and I have kind of made my decision of why it might be this case because it's located right next to Playa del Carmen like literally right next to it there's not much nightlife here they have a couple of shows going on we ventured over to some of the other properties to see what they had and it was okay there's just not much nightlife now over at the tequila they have certain nights where they do themed parties which we're going to hit tonight so i will let you know how that goes i feel like it's going to be like so crazy crowded with everybody around these properties heading over there because they have been advertising and pushing it a lot throughout the last uh two days but it's only from 7 to 11 so their nightlife shuts down very early here and again it might just be because playa del carmen is right there and people maybe tend to go that way versus staying at the resort so they don't really put much effort in if that's if i'm not really saying that right but um they just may not do as much here because playa yeah other than that it's not a bad property and then the beach the beach is actually really nice i like that the pools are located right next to the beach i would recommend it to a certain type of crowd like Ty, um, he's now a travel agent, and we mentioned this in our videos, like we have sent a, a lot of our graduating seniors for 2023 coming here, like big groups. I think they would love this type of property, especially because some of our groups requested that they wanted to be close to um, Coco Bongo or downtown nightlife, and this was a better option versus Cancun, and it's a much prettier option, I feel like, with the vegetation. I would not bring any kids here, um, just for the fact of they literally have nothing for kids. There's no water park, there's no little kitty area pool, it's just a little rectangle pool. Um, there's not a whole lot of amenities for kids uh, like at other places like Barcelona or Moon Palace or Ibero Star or Hard Rock or Planet Hollywood. Like those are geared towards families. If you're staying extended time, like more than four nights, it could get a little boring. Um, they don't have a whole lot of activities either going by the pools like I've been at other resorts where they do. I would definitely go somewhere else for kids, like smaller kids, young teenagers. Again, graduating high schoolers, they're gonna love it here. I mean, they're not gonna be that picky, so. I think I've colored my eyebrows just about enough while I'm talking here. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, I'll continue showing you more of the resort. Leave me a comment down below if I didn't cover something on this resort and we'll be happy to answer that. I will also link our travel page where we advertise a lot of our trips, the deals that we come across, and any type of vacations you may wanna plan. Um, I'll link that down in the description below. 
Now let's get into the food. This is super important for some people, so I always like to discuss it. Like I said earlier, I think this is gonna be at more of a three and a half, four star for the food. There are lots of options here. They do have a coffee shop, they have a breakfast buffet for lunch. You can sit right across from the ocean at the, I think it's called Agave, I'm not 100% sure at the buffet there. Again, lots of different options, everything from sushi to pizza, to tacos, to Japanese. Anyway, lots and lots of options. They even have an outside grill that you can just come grab a plate, take it to your chair, sit and enjoy the view, which is my favorite thing. Now moving on to dinners, we always choose the a la carte restaurants versus just going to the buffet. So we tried Japanese one night. It was very good, but I will say the menu was a little lacking. I wish I could have had a sushi menu, but they just had one selection of sushi that they brought to you. We did hit the buffet for desserts though. They did have an impressive spread. Everything from ice creams to little cakes to uh, a little chocolate fountain. Now we had a very short stay reviewing this resort, only three nights, so we hit up restaurants sometimes twice in one evening just to give you guys an insight on it. The next night we chose to go to the Steakhouse and Italian restaurant. The Steakhouse was located right where the lunch buffet was, which I loved, right by the ocean. It was pretty good. I typically get chicken at steakhouses in Mexico just because they're a little different than my Texas steaks. My husband doesn't mind though, he's a meat lover. And then we hit up the Italian. This was probably my least favorite. I was not very impressed with this. Um, small menu again. It was just, it was below average to me. This was the one I just, I had to be a little honest about. Now, my absolute favorite was the Mexican, which was also at the lunch buffet spot. They kind of split these up between steakhouse on one side and Mexican on the other. It was fabulous, you guys. I mean, almost the same as some of the five star resorts that we have stayed at. My husband even ordered two entrees here, fajitas and some octopus. Hey, uh, some potatoes. You're crazy. Thank you. I can't believe you're eating that. Zoomed out. Oh, that's good. You should get this. Chocolate. I, mean, I kind of want to order another one. <laughs> they also have a 24 hour lounge, which we discovered the very last night we were there. If you want some light snacks, coffee, which I thought was pretty cool. Now, nightlife, it's hit or miss, I feel like, depending on if you want to hit Playa. <laughs> So this is how it looked most nights. It was kind of dead. But again, I think that's due to Playa del Carmen just being so close. People tend to go that direction and hit up the clubs, the restaurants, the shopping. So we did do that one night, paid about $9 for a taxi. They did have an awesome Michael Jackson show, I will say. Probably one of the better ones we have seen in Mexico. And this is where it brought out a bunch of people at this resort. <laughs> After the MJ show, they did have some dancing that we kind of hung out with, but we did enjoy venturing away from the resort. Again, this is a gated community, so we felt very safe. They do have a lot of little shops that you can go and buy souvenirs if you don't want to walk or taxi over to Playa del Carmen. Or you can go to the other resorts because when you stay at the Riviera Maya property, you have access to all the other resorts. So sometimes they may have better shows at other properties. And then once we get over to the tequila property, that's where the action was one night. Nope. So like I said, the neon party is over at Ryu Tequila, which is down the road. It's probably about a 10 minute walk or they provide a shuttle bus, which was really fun. So I will be honest and say, once you get off that bus, there is a ton of people at these parties because everybody at all six resorts are coming to this place on Friday nights. But since we kept it pretty chill most nights, I was ready to have some fun. So I have to cut off the music so I don't get striked for copyright, but this was a good time. I mean, by 10 o'clock, this place was packed, you guys. It was hard to find a seat. It was kind of hard to get drinks. If you were lucky, 
but it was still fun. It was still a good time. There are kids here, which I thought was kind of weird because it got a little crazy. So I wouldn't personally bring my kids here, but that's on a parent's decision. Um, they did blow bubbles. They had some dancers, some acrobats hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> moving on to the rooms the rooms were actually really nice and spacious we did have some issues with moving rooms not getting the room we paid for and then the next room the air was not working like I mentioned earlier but as far as the room goes in itself it's actually very nice and spacious you get all your basic amenities like mini bar fridge uh, safe you do get a shower and a tub which is nice if the air conditioner would not have been so bad and the beds were probably some of the worst beds we've slept on, then I would probably rate this resort a little bit higher. But again, this just hits that three and a half, four star mark, budget friendly, which is totally fine. You're not gonna be in the room that much. We did get a junior suite superior room. I think that's what it was called with an ocean view. That was the category. So didn't mind the rooms at all. Just wish the air would have worked a little bit more. Our fridge was always stocked, housekeeping came, did a great job. And that was it. That was our quick three night stay at this property. I've never been to a Ryu before and I will say I was pretty impressed for the most part. We did have a few little negatives, but it was a fun time. I ended up finding one heck of a deal at $5.95 per person with flight, you guys, for three nights. That's pretty dang good, I will say. So about a thousand dollar trip. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give it a like. Don't forget to check out our travel page. We always share some amazing deals on there. My husband is a TA. We don't price gouge clients. We get you the best deal, answer any questions you might have. And stay tuned in another few weeks. We are back at our favorite place reviewing two, not just one, but two all-inclusive resorts that I think you guys will love. So thanks again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and a great week.